The return of Pokey Post. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Place to Get Games video. Thank you for being here today. Um, Pokey Post is back. We got a lot of mail, huge stack of mail, like over here to get through. Lots of awesome things. Thank you so much for everyone who kept asking about the return of Pokey Post. Um, got a big box in here to to go into as well. Let's see what's inside here. And please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, if you enjoy it. Uh, we've been away most Sundays recently, and we've had lots of things to do. So we obviously haven't had as much time for Pokey Post as we would like. So. Um, I thought it'd be, and I haven't actually been buying that much stuff. I've been buying a few more bits after World Championships, and because obviously I had a lot of travelling to do and practice and stuff before the World Championships. So, yeah. So this big box is from the lovely Havoc Pokemon, um, one of our lovely Discord moderators on the on the um, Playset Games Discord. Please, you know, click link in the description and check out the Playset Games Dis Discord if you so if you so wish. Um, we've got he sent us some lovely goodies. Let's see what's. I'm actually sure what's in here. What did he send us? Oh, okay. Straight away, some beautiful um, Pokemon Go cards. The chunky Pikachu's. Um, big shout out to Chris for this, for all these wonderful things. We're going to be back at MCM Birmingham Comic Con next weekend, 11th to the 13th of November. Please click the. I probably forget to put the link in the description. Please, you know, come see us at MCM Birmingham next week. I think there's still some tickets for Friday and Sunday, so we're going to have tons of single cards, tons of awesome like. Uh, pin badges. I'll show you some of the pin badges later. Japanese sleeves. All sorts of like wonderful goodies are going to be at the Comic Con. And yeah, I highly recommend you come and visit us. Um, got this boxes in the way. There we go. We can actually see see the cards better now. So yeah, we've got, um, got some cool cards. We're going to be sticking these in our folders. We're going to be selling them at the Comic Con. And big shout out to everyone that came to our Comic Con at MCM London. Very popular and we had a, had a great time there. A big shout out to the lovely Sarah from Bitbeads as well, um, with all of her amazing artwork. So that was um, awesome there. So let's see what else that's. Um, let's see what else we have in here. I completely forgot what I've ordered. Okay, just some like random like promo cards and stuff. Maybe oh, these are the these are the um, the ones that you get at the store. These are the cool promos that in the UK. They're in some other countries as well. These are the cool promos that you get for like going to game and. Um, Waterstones, like these are the 20th anniversary ones. That Slowpoke's absolutely gorgeous, and you can see that it's got the 20th anniversary stamp. We only just celebrated the 25th anniversary stamp last year, so that makes some of these things over six years old. And we've got the Flying Pikachu from Celebrations, and do we have the Surfing as well? Just another Flying Pikachu. That's awesome. There's some cool cards there, and I'm not sure what's inside this bundle. I bought. I've been buying a lot of things over the past week, so we've got a few things to show you, lovely people. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, some nice, some nice cards wrapped up. Awesome source. Let's see what's in here. Big shout out again to Havoc Pokemon on our Discord. Please click in the description. Check out our Discord when you get a chance. Um, so we got the. Let's move a bit over this way. You can see my head a bit better. There we go. So you got the Milo from Rebel Clash. Again, we're still trying to get this camera to do things. Um, Milo from Rebel Clash. Nice Nessa. Come on, come on. Kind of got to get a bit closer. Cabu, there we go. Bead, Gordy. I didn't even really remember buying. You got the Piers as well. I don't even remember buying like these Rainbow Trainers, but they must have done big job lot. Uh, Raihan. Wow, this is like a huge amount of Rainbow Rare trainers, trainers from the first couple of Sword and Shield sets. It's really cool. Netball, strong. One of the strongest cards we've had for Grass Pokemon. These two here are both still super useful in Gym Leader Challenge if you're running Grass decks. So if anybody wants any of those for their Gym Leader Challenge decks, send me a message. Rapid and single strike energy, really cool. What's in here? Nice metal energy that can be useful in a Duraludon or a Gudra deck at the moment. Wishful Baton, Beast Bringer, um, Electromagnetic Radio. I'll just go through these. And some breaks. Um, breaks. Full Art to Dene. An awesome like Steelix Full Art from Steam Siege. Wow, the Mega Alakazam, Genesect, and some more modern stuff. We've got the Oranguru Coughing and Vaporeon character. Cards, a di hollow ditto, hollow Gengar, very nice. Let's have a look at this it's Gengar. Not too bad. That's quite good. That's like EX slightly played. That's that's a really nice Gengar. And some more modern stuff. The Radiant Greninja, some shinies, the Golden Chicken Nugget Swablu, and um, some other some other cool cards. So that was awesome. Thank you again, Chris. For those. And we've got two other boxes of things here. I actually don't remember what's in these boxes. I buy a lot of things. Uh, and it's hard to remember all the time what's in all of the boxes. And annoyingly, my knife... Okay, my knife. 
to show you my ugly steak knife. Right, let's see if we can get into here and see what kind of goodies are waiters in these. I think these might be sleeves. Let's have a look. These feel like sleeves, but we'll we'll have to see. We get actually can find our way inside the box. Yeah, we've got some cool sleeves. So again, we sell a lot of sleeves at the um, at the Comic Con. So we've got some Hidden Fates ones there. It's really cool. Some Celebrations ones, Shining Fates, and a bunch of useful. You can see there a bunch of useful trainer cards, Elemental badges, Karens, Marnie. So big shout out again to Havoc for those. And um, what's what else is in this last? Let's see what's inside this last box of goodies. It's been a while since we've done a Poke Post. The thing, yeah, we had so many messages from people, um, especially on our Discord server, saying, "Where's Poke Post? When is Poke?" It's like that Simpsons meme. Where's Poke Post? When are you going to get Poke Post? Like, <laughs> where's the money? When are you going to get the money? Um, so we got here the League Battle deck. So I'll probably use these at the, you know, the local Eastbourne uh, Kid Stuff Toys Eastbourne. Shout out to all the regulars at the. At the Pokemon Club. Um, just double check to see if this is like a full deck. Is the Mel Metal in here? Just I won't check the Mewtwo as well, but um, okay, so it's all of the cards minus the promo. So they must have used the promo for their master. So that's good because I've actually got a few spare Mel Metal V's. So I could actually just add the Mel Metal V to that and they've got another got a cool deck. So that's awesome. And just some dice, some counters. I'll give these away at the at the local Pokemon Club as well. And some ju some jumbo coins. Let's have a look at these coins. I do like jumbo coins. Got here a nice Charizard one, so we can get a good focus on that. Nice Charizard one, the Blastoise from the V Battle deck, the 25th anniversary Pikachu, um, and yeah, a nice Eevee, big Eevee coin. So thanks again to that lovely man for that. Right, so let, moving on. Um, running out of space. Right, put you down there. So now we've got some cool Japanese Poke Posts. So um, again, if you want to find out how to buy your own cards directly from Japan, how to grade your own cards directly with PSA? Please check out the um, Patreon. The we have lots. Of, we have a cool section there. Lots of wonderful people knowing how to buy their own cards and grade their own cards with PSA, which is really cool. So um, let's see what's the see what's going on here. So we got some Japanese cards I bought directly from Japan. Let's see what's inside the bag. They also all these Japanese sellers. They also really generally really well package these. So let's see. See what we got. So we're starting off really strong here. We've got the Radiant Venusaur from Pokemon Go. Um, so we've got a couple of those because the price was really good. Oh, the 25th anniversary collection promo Umbreon Gold Star. Beautiful, beautiful. And let's we'll flip this over. We've got another Radiant Blastoise. Um, we've got a nice Dragonite full art. Some po more Pokemon Go cards. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, you know, I've not actually peeled the Japanese ditto yet. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, 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 here we go. Okay, let's get, get the camera. There we go. Let's peel, peel the ditto. There he is. There he is. I've not actually peeled the Japanese ditto. I just wanted to do it once. So I've done the English one because the English one's obviously reverse hollow. But what I must say is these stickies are actually a lot stickier than the English ones. I've had, so I've actually got, a, <laughs> I've actually got the English Bidoof stuck up here. So I'm going to put the Japanese one um, further down next to my, next to my work desk because that's a lot stickier than the, than the English one. That's really cool. So we've got a nice, um, you know, it leaves this really weird surface on the front because like, of where the sticker was. So that's, that's cool. We've got a nice Japanese ditto. Oh, I didn't even know it's the fire i did not even notice the aerodactyl v special art the jurassic park one you can see there all the little dinosaurs and the fossil pokemon around the archeops tortuga bastiodon ah uh, just beautiful beautiful card you can see there it's textured absolutely gorgeous and i think we have three of those let's go because in japan um i think when the set first came out I think these were like a third of the price of the English ones or something. So I think I was paying around twenty, thirty dollars for these when the first set first came out. I don't know what they are now. They're, I think they're more than that. But yeah, very happy to get free of the Jurassic Park um, fossil Aerodactyl card. Um, the special arts. Um, I really like this full art Rotom just because of the. You can see the cool background there. Look at that. Look at that background on the Rotom. That's really nice. And a Umbreon V and V Max. You can never have enough evolutions. Moments later. Right, we're back. Um, so the, the recording cut out at some point, but thankfully we didn't miss too much. You saw the Umbreon and the Umbreon V, and I also opened a massive package, and it's got these beautiful Unagaba Pikachus on it. So obviously recently, um, you remember that um, Ed Sheeran did the collaboration um, with um, with Pokemon, and they did that song Celestial. The artwork was actually done by Unagaba, the sketch artist, and I actually also got a couple of the... Um, 
the signed um, Ed Sheeran CDs with the with the artwork by you Nag Nagba signed by Ed Sheeran the singer. And these were only like 99 pence for a pound because I think he was trying to help it contribute towards the singles chart or something. But um, yeah, they're not worth that much. But I, I've got one framed behind me in the background somewhere as well. So that's really cool. And I thought I'd pick up more of these because these are actually still really popular and they're starting to get a little bit more harder to get hold of now. So I've got a few beautiful Unagaba Pikachus that I need to put somewhere. And then a whole bunch of other cards were inside this package. So these are all again directly from Japan. Um, I think a bunch of these are just like random cards that I was considering, you know, making into badges at some point because I've got my badge maker and they sold really well at the last Comic Con. So um, he'd probably make some more badges maybe before MCM Birmingham. So we're just going to go through these. So you like just like popular Pokemon like Haunters. Um, we've got cool like ho some like really cheap Hollows that we can make into some nice badges. Um, so some starters like Sobbles, Deadly Bird because Christmas is coming up soon, and obviously amazing rare. Kyogres, they're even cheaper than the English version. They're equivalent of like one pound each in Japan because so many people was opening like Shiny Star V at the time and stuff. So got a few of those and the the Gengar. So these were getting a bit harder to find in English because um, the um, Champions Path pin badge boxes sold, you know, they, they were done ages ago. So we got a few of these Gengars, beautiful Japanese, um, Japanese Gengars to go with the English ones. And yeah, there's a, just big stacks of cards. We're going to quickly try and race through these because I don't think there's going to be any like huge fire like we had with the um, with the Aerodactyl so I'll just kind of try and race through these as quickly as possible just some cute hollows some cool Pokemon yeah I think these are all just cards that I wanted to make into badges just because the artwork is cute because once you you know cut them out and you make them into badges they they still look adorable and you don't you don't have to pay maybe as much as you might do for for an English copy of the same Pokemon so um, yeah you can see here I also banged my arm at the swimming pool the other day that was not a that was not a good thing to do. Should probably also get that knife off off the screen. I might get like delisted. <laughs> you know what, like you know, knives and violence like people are like on YouTube. Uh, right. So yeah, some Polty guys. The beautiful Sal Sal um, one there. So we got some some other cool stuff. We got some Dragonite. Some more Pokemon Go. It's really cool. We've got the Radiant Blastoise there. More Radiant Venusaur. Super underrated. Um, some Snorlaxes. Some beautiful Sylveons. Blissies and a is that another ditto? I thought that was another ditto. That's just a regular Bidoof. <laughs> just another regular Bidoof. Right. Well, there's nothing wrong with Bidoof. We all do love Bidoof. Our Lord and Saviour Bidoof. Right. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah. Right. So we got a nice thing. Bulbasaur. Blastoise. It's nice hollows there. Raticate. Shout out to Camillo. He loves his bastard rats. Um, Lucario is popular, Shamans, and all the, oh, the promos, the promo Charmanders from the um, from the Pokemon Go Japanese promo packs. You, when you bought like a box of Pokemon Go, you get like one, a couple of promo packs. They're super cheap if you want to open any of those up because that's, you get a chance to also get the Dragonite V and uh, Dragonite V Star Pro. How many of these amazing rare Kyogres did I buy? Probably too many. Oh, nice CP6. Okay, it's not base set, CP6, but yeah, I've got some promo Pikachus. Um, some nice, some more, some more amazing rare Kyogres. I just went on a spending spree of just like cheap cards that I could use to like pin badges, like popular characters. Like these Gengars are super popular. And the great thing is, like um, people that don't collect um, Japanese Pokemon cards, they're just going to see the cute pin badges with the with the artworks of their favorite Pokemon. And they're not, they're not going to <laughs> shout out to Lee. He loves his Espers. They're not going to care that there's like just you know. Badges of them. I just love some of these. Look at that round Wooly. That deserves to be a pin badge. Yeah, it's just more like cute Japanese cards and stuff in these ones. Try and zoom. Try and zoom through these as quickly as, as quickly as we can. And I might need to pack. I might need to pack some of them away actually because I've got so many of them. Um, some more Mewtwo's. Let's see if we can get some more focus. There we go. I've got those guys. Um, nice Gyarados. Gyarados. More Lucarios and some Snorlaxes and some Whale Lords, yeah. So these were all, most of these were just for the intention of making beautiful pin badges out of, but some really nice cards in it. You won't see many of these probably going actually into the binders. Maybe the Gengars. Gengar's super popular. I swear Gengar's like like fourth or fifth most popular Pokemon now. It's Gengar's super popular. We've got some more of these Charizard Hollows. Um, Rayquaza, the Rayquaza VMAX. I don't think we've got this artwork in English. Maybe it'll be in the Crown Zenith. Um, some more Lucarios and some nice Keldeos. And let's see what's inside this one. 
So that, yeah, we should have we should have opened these ones first, and then we would have built up to the Aerodactyl. It's all kind of just been a bit bit average, bit mid tier since then. But some beautiful artwork like these Sal Sal ones, and the Victinis. Are oh, just some lovely cards in here. Look at that clay clay Rowlet, the OG Stellar Wish. They're actually very powerful and back in its day in Pidgey. Pidgey and Raikou, just an amazing combo right at the right at the end. There. So um, what do we have next? I'm going to save this this thing for the end because that's the coolest thing I think I've got here. So thank you for your purchase. Please leave feedback from Thomas. Thank you, Thomas. I will do. Oh, and you got some like like stickers or something in there. Thank you, Thomas. That's awesome. Um, uh, this, but the, the the cards are taped to the bottom of the box. No, it's not good, Thomas. Don't do that. Thank you for the stickers, but do not take your cards to the to box. Uh, okay, All right, got them out, got them out. Let's, let's go. Um, so I've also bought, just been buying a crap ton of things, and I'm not going to spend ages cutting them out. But you can see here we've got some professors research, full arts. Um, we can get Venusaur, Zekrom. So most of this stuff just like stock for the for the upcoming Comic Con. Some Lost Origin stuff, the birthday Pikachu, the amazing rare Celebi. Thank you for that, Thomas. Um, try to try to use less tape next time. Right, what we got next? Okay, I've got to try and obscure that one. Um, hopefully, I can remember. Right, Let's see what we got going on. Yeah. Right, so what do we have in here? Oh, okay, this is better because they're in top loaders anyway. Just put them straight in, you know, just put them straight in the box. Just top loaders is fine. Don't have to put sticky tape on everything. Try to avoid using tape whenever possible when packaging cards, especially put, taping other cards to cards to other cards. Um, so we got. So I won't go like show each side of them. I think most of them are double sided. We got some really awesome trainer galleries. Some more birthday Pikachu's. Again, birthday Pikachu is still super cheap. I think they're super underrated because people will be buying, you know, birthday Pikachu's for like people on their birthday. It's just like an obvious thing, especially for a Pikachu collector. Everyone loves the artwork on this um, on this uh, Hoot Hoot. So look at that. Beautiful Ochiake design. We've got some Spiritune, Giratina, and a Golden Secret Rare Lost Vacuum. Dust busting up your day. Right. So, yep, so now we're into a bunch of card market stuff. It'll be interesting to see what else is popping out of here. So this is probably a little bit on the worse side of things. Just putting like nicer cards in without any sort of extra rigid protection. But still fine. Still acceptable. So we got some nice um, hollow promos. These Oshawott's and Cinderquills from the collector's chest. Not many people open that collector's chest. So it's nice to get get a couple of these. Um, got the um, some other cards from my decks and some other playable things. Gengars. Beautiful reverse hollow Pikachus. Trekking shoes. Very good for decks. And some um, some nice trainer gallery cards, and I say rely, Zorark, and a professor's research, and a beautiful trainer gallery Gardevoir. So at the MCM London Comic Con, I found that the trainer gallery stuff was super popular. Like, people were clearing out entire pages of just the regular trainer gallery cards, just the the regular like one two pound ones. Um, so I thought let's let's try and acquire some of these, a few more of these before the before the Birmingham Comic Con, and then obviously we'll have some Silver Tempest. We'll have Silver Tempest. Booster boxes, single cards, uh, and elite trainer boxes at the at the um, at the Comic Con. So yeah, again we've got tape on the side here, which is really really unfortunate. Is this tape I can just peel away? Okay, just it's not. So you can just peel this tape away. That's not too bad. I'll take that. As long as you can just easily deal with the tape, I don't mind tapes. Like they're like the the pull tabs you might use on PSA cards. So um, so we've got a nice uh, Dragonite, a Machamp, Mewtwo, and Full Art Roxanne, and a Venusaur. Nice. Beautiful cards there. Uh, so I think one of these boxes might have an, an, an evolution. Yeah. There, I think one of these bags or boxes might even have a celebrations Charizard. Um, oh, we've got some Charizard promos here from the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection box. If you want to see me open the box, click the click the link above and check that out. Um, and there's even a code card to one lovely person that wants to redeem the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. Please leave a comment below if you. More moments later. Right, we're back. So once again, it cuts off after 10 minutes. So I need to keep an eye out for that. It just stops recording. And I'm not told that it stops recording. So we also did get the gold Pikachu V Max from Lost Origin, which is really cool. The Mimikyu V um, Trainer Gallery Character Super Rail with the bonus tiny little Gengar in the background. That's a beautiful card. And I also got the Silver Tempest. This is beautiful. The Silver Tempest, Friends and Gala Full Art with Bead, Marnie and those guys. Um, and Hop. In Japan, this is like a harder to pull card from VMAX Climax. But this is in our 
regular kind of like trainer gallery in um, in English. So this will be super popular. So I'm going to be pick, probably picking up a couple of these as well. So yeah, very some awesome cards there. And I also got a bunch of these um, things from Japan also. Um, the um, Pokemon Fit Pin Badges. So they're like they're just pack badges of a bunch of the Sinnoh Pokemon um, from from like the from like the Pokemon. Um, Pokemon fit the plushes. They just look like the plush badges. So I'm probably going to break some of these down and sell the badges separately because I had the box of six at the comic last Comic Con. They didn't sell that well. So if you want to pick up some of these badges, head to MCM Birmingham this weekend. That would be awesome. And we're also going to obviously have a bunch of awesome Japanese sleeves, including these leafy on and glacial ones. So last up, I'm very excited about this. Um, we've got here um, the old maid Pokemon trading po Pokemon card game. So. Um, Old Maid is like a traditional like card game, and this is the Pokemon version of it. And I've read into this, so when I was inputting stuff directly on the PSA website, so I could I grade grade directly with PSA. Um, I was I found these, and I actually a bunch of these popped up on the submission form. So they have, if you see here, it features um, exclusive artwork from Uyama. So this is one of the card artists, Uyama. I'll, um, if I can remember, I'll put one of my favorite Uyama cards on the screen, but. Um, yeah, these are all cool, and PSA are actually grading these, which is which is quite cool. So, and there's a bunch of Gen One Pokemon in here. So we're going to try and open it carefully and see if we can see if we can get the cards out and show off the show off the awesome cards. So, um, and I told my Patreons also about this, and they um, a few of them are also going to buy them. So, right, let's have a look at the the book. So I have no idea how Old Maid is played, but just look at this. Look at these cool. I think even Uyama even drew like the. the it looks like Uyama even drew like the, the the diagrams and the guides for for these cards as well, which is really cool. So um, you got those, and you got the. Oh, look at that! Look at that original Pokemon artwork. It's very rare you see like originally hand drawn Pokemon artwork outside of the official stuff. So, is there an easy way to get into this without damaging the cards? I think so. There's like a little tab. One eternity later. Okay, we're back. So I found how the how the pull tab works eventually, and we're gonna take. I just love the look on the backs as well. Just look at the backs of these. That alone just just screens just awesome, like cute, awesome, cool Pokemon. Look at that. So you can see they're all they they all have the same back. So we're gonna look at these look at these awesome cards. I think that's supposed to be like red or a trainer. I probably wouldn't grade that one, but. Um, we're, we're probably gonna. Might, I might grade a few of these, keep a few of these in my collection. So we've got a couple of Bulbasaur's. That's really look at that Charmander. Oh man, the artwork on these is beautiful because there's a lot of people that collect. Let's say like collect Squirtles, or they collect certain Pokemon, but they 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 don't just collect like just Pokemon trading card game cards. Like for example, I want to keep this Pikachu in my collection, so I'm gonna put one of these in my collection because it's super cute. Like and then you've got the Raichu as well. So I have no idea how Old Maid is played, but. Let's say you're a Jigglypuff fan or a Pikachu fan. You you might just want like one or two of these in your, you know, in your collection. It's because they just look cool. And you got Meowth there. That that arm's really long and derpy. It's gotta have side art. It's like me trying to learn a new card game or <laughs> my head get headaches and stuff. Yeah, these are just beautiful. Got a nice Chansey, and the Ditto looks cool. Yeah, these aren't gonna be like huge stonks, but I just like I like seeing Pokemon. Things like Pokemon cards, especially that you can grade them as well. Like Muse also super cool, and finishing off with a Gengar. This is this is so nice. There's only one of those in the entire pack, so probably this will be the harder one to get hold of, as opposed to the the other ones where there's like two or three copies of the same Pokemon in the pack. But yeah, those were the Pokemon Old Maid cards, and that was Poke Post. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this week's Poke Post. What was your favourite thing? And uh, yeah, let me know what you thought of the video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Remember to come to MCM Birmingham this weekend, 11th to the 13th of November. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA, and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayStation Games Patreon. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.